This is Dinesh here and you are watching Digitech HD. And now, today we are going to unbox the Lenovo Zoog Z2 Plus. And now let's get started. Mm, we have the Lenovo box right in front of us. Let's unbox it and first let us peel the plastic cover above the box mm. taking the plastic tearing it tearing it from the box right out of the box we have the phone itself and Lenovo provides it with a stealth case made black stealth case and for the holding grip I think so and it's pretty nice to hold with the case and below the phone we have the sim ejection tool and third we have the USB type C cable and the cable is of good quality at this price point compared to the Lee Eco smartphones and the travel adapter and there's nothing special other than this and we have the usual user manual stuffed into it along with the warranty card and that's it for all coming back to the phone we have the plastic covers protecting it and let us take the phone out of the cell case to take a look at it uh, it's pretty tightly fitted inside the cell case and after removing the silk case, we have the back plastic with some of the certified information that's peeled off. Yeah, it's quite premium, premium enough like the 50,000 flagship phones and the glass pack, it's prone to finger pin. It's very much prone to finger pin and it's quite slippery also. And at front, they have the protections matte cover with fingerprint sensor at the bottom. And it's really slippery. That's why Leno has decided to provide it with a stealth case. I think so. It's pretty useful. Right up at the phone, we have the earpiece and an 8 megapixel front camera and the proximity sensors and it has a 5 inch IPS LCD display full HD display and at the bottom we have the fingerprint sensor embedded with uh, Lenovo's U-Touch technology right up the up at the rear of the phone we have the 13 megapixel rear shooter with LED flash and the noise cancellation microphone and it has a reflective back uh, which you can see it and the Lenovo branding at the bottom with uh, some of its certifications to the right of the device at the bottom we have the dual sim slots and the power button and the volume rockers and it comes pretty handy to use and to the bottom of the device we have the headphone jack and the microphone and the USB type C port and the loudspeakers the loudspeaker it's pretty decent and coming to the spec sheet of the phone it's powered by a Snapdragon 820 coupled with 4 gigs of RAM and an internal storage of 64 GB. All these are backed up by a 3500 mAh battery. That's it for all in this video. And what do you think about the smartphone? Let me know in the comment section below. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon right next to it so that you will get notified when our video goes live in my channel. And if you like this video, hit the like button. That's it for all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one.